Bodmin Library is Oxford University's main research library. Um, it's been a copyright library since 1610 and is second in size only to the British Library. It receives a copy of every book published in the UK. Um, this means our collections grow at a rate of over three kilometres a year. We have 11.7 million printed items. We add over 3,000 printed books to our collection every single day. We also digitise about 700 pages of rare books or manuscripts every single day in our imaging studio. The refurbishment of what was the New Bodleian and is now renamed the Western Library not only provided um, state-of-the-art reading rooms and uh, facilities to house our special collections, but it also provided a focus for our public engagement activities where we are um, trying to bring our amazing collections to the local Oxford community and also visitors to Oxford. This is really the first time in the library's history that we've been able to throw the doors open wide and therefore we need to have a measure of how successful that initiative has been. We approached several firms and CountWise were able to come in at very quick notice and immediately understood what we wanted to achieve here. They were able to set up the right type of counters, giving us the right type of information in a very short space of time. Um, they were also very sensitive to displays in the exhibition galleries particularly, where we didn't want the, the counters or cameras to be visible to the public. The CatWise software enables us to plot visitor numbers across times of the day, across days of the week and eventually times of the year as well. This means that we can much more accurately predict when are going to be our busy and quieter times and so plan our staffing accordingly. One of the most impressive things for me about CountWise is that it's been able to count how many people are interacting with a specific display case. At the moment it's got three original Magna Cartas in there, for example. Because we can accurately measure how many people are interacting with each of those displays, we can compare figures for different types of display, different types of content, different subject areas and th what this will mean is that we'll be able to feed that back into where we're planning our exhibitions, both the ones in that case but also the, the much larger ones in our main exhibition gallery um, to really tailor it to things that people are interested in. The beauty um, for me about having lots of data particularly at a high level of detail, is it means that something will throw up the question, why has it done that? I wonder what that difference is? And then you can then go and find that out and it will tell you something that you had no idea about before.